Let's use vulgar language that may not be appropriate for persons under 16 years of age, soft as a cotton swab, or sensitive like a baby's ass. This is a podcast for real ones, gangsters and gangsterettes. If you don't fit that description, still listen to my shit, with your Bill Bellamy bone structure having asses, laughing like a bitch. Anyway, let's get 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 it. <laughs> I'm in the hood, you see it, nigga, and I don't travel light, nigga. Look at the truck, it's bulletproof, level four. I don't care if a nigga got a K out here. Yo, 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 yo. It's your boy OG Shizzy Brizzle. It's another Shizzy Lit podcast and shit. Uh, word of advice for your rappers out there, shit. Up and coming, inspired rappers, underground rappers, on your way to success. You know, feel me? Motherfuckers that just thought about what to be a rappers, current rappers, older rappers, rappers that still in the street. Advice to you, y'all got some money, don't buy, like, 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 you buying all this jewelry and all that shit, take one of them watches, right? You know, feel me? Turn in one of your watches the minute you got it. You know, feel me? Turn in one of your cars the minute you got it. And use that, the bulletproof. Everything, you know, feel me? That's my advice to y'all. 50 Cent done showed y'all what bulletproof and shit will do. Young Dolph showed y'all what bulletproof and shit will do. And he also showed you what bulletproof and shit won't do, you know, feel me? A lot of people showed you what bulletproof and shit won't do. 50 got shot up and all that shit. This nigga went and spent money. Bulletproof shit, level four shit. Bomb proof, bulletproof. You can ride around in style. Ride around comfortable and shit. You know, feel me, knowing as long as you and that motherfucker, you know, feel me, you ain't shit gonna happen to you. You did. You know, feel me? All them 200, 300, 400,000 watch niggas got million dollar watches on and shit, but that's not even they only watch. So you got a million dollar watch, but you still got Frank Mueller's and motherfucking protects and all that shit. You know, feel me? That's two, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand. Your little Rolexes and shit with no ice is like sixty, seventy thousand and all that shit. You can turn a few of them joints and a chain or two in and bulletproof everything. All your family members' cars and shit. Get your family members out the, out the, you know, feel me? Out the vicinity where though they can't can't be found this shit bulletproof everything just in case all your shit bulletproof your driver's bulletproof everything that shit don't cost as much money as y'all be spending on shit that's not even really motherfucking necessary and shit you know feel me? if you got a million dollar watch i'm saying do you really need the other watches that you got before you had that you know feel me i mean you know I'm just saying, think about it. Sometimes the money dilutes your brain and shit, and the shit you was thinking about, the smart shit you was thinking about at one time, you know, feel me? For protection and security at that, you ain't thinking no more, you know, feel me? Like, niggas get a couple dollars and be in their own world, not like everybody getting money like them. Don't forget the motherfucking wolves, tigers, lions, and bears still out here trying to giraffes and rhinos out here still trying to get some paper and try to come up. So you could be the come up if you dumb up, you know, feel me? I, was, I, I learned that through experience. You be getting money in your own world and shit. You out here flossing and bossing. Niggas out here doing rough as shit and only got guns. So they gonna use that to get some motherfucking funds and shit. Some niggas, to some niggas, it's fun. So they the ones you don't want to run into. Trust me on that one. Believe me, you. Any motherfucking way. Your boy always just be trying... You to feel me enlighten y'all and shit. Open up a motherfucking brain room. Open up a door in your brain that was closed. You to feel me? Sometimes you need to unlock it from the outside or some shit. Like, I don't know, man. You to feel me? But my advice is to bulletproof everything. You to feel me? You, 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 you lowering, you lowering your motherfucking, uh, chances and shit. They're getting done dirty because niggas is talking out here. Rappers is the number one targets out here. That's a big fact. Police targeting. The robbers targeting. The bitches targeting. You to feel me? Y'all motherfuckers better listen. I'm gonna be an R and B. Now, oh, I don't know. They get talking dick too. Look how they doing Trey right now. Anyway, I don't know. Rapping ain't the way to go. It's your boy OG Shizzy Brown. So y'all heard what I told y'all. Bulletproof everything. Turn in one of them watches, them change them cars and shit, and get everybody together. Because you ain't the only one unsafe. All your family members safe there. Try to hold your family members for ransom. Tell me you bring this boom boom bop. You know, feel me, so you know what I mean. That's what your money pulled to be really going on. Security, secure the family, secure the bag. You know, feel me. And everything else come next. Is your boy? I'm out. Yiddy.
What's popping everybody? It's your homie Envy Allison, hostess of WTF News on Shizzy Lit Podcast. Make sure to check us out and show me in the boss man OG Shizzy Brizzle some lovery. With y'all Timothy D. Logetto cannon to the left of them, cannon to the right of them, cannon, face asses, laughing the hardest ever. Anyway subscribe to Shizzy Lit Podcast on any of your favorite streaming platforms and listen to what the hood listening to. I'm out, you heard me?